Uh, but first of all, um, we've been uh, talking this morning about male primary school teachers. And when your child goes to primary school, the chances are they won't be taught by a man. New figures we've been given from the General Teaching Council for Scotland show only 8% of teachers in the country's primaries are male. In Wales, men make up just over 15% of registered primary school teachers. And in England, just 13% of primary school teachers are men. So if you're a parent or a pupil, does it matter? Scotland has the lowest percentage of men, as I've said, in the UK in its classrooms. Um, we're going to speak to um, Laura in a moment, who's at a school in Glasgow. But first of all, the Cabinet Secretary for Education and Lifelong Learning in Scotland, Mike Russell, explains why he thinks men are reluctant to work in primary schools. There is a, a slight reluctance by men, given the publicity has been given to issues of paedophilia uh, and the issues of men working with children, that there is a slight reluctance by men to get involved in that whole scene uh, for fear of, of suspicion or difficulty. Whatever it is, I'd like to encourage more men to go into the classroom and I'd like to encourage more men to be primary teachers because whilst overall it's the quality of teaching that counts, I think a better balance in schools would be helpful. What can you do, um, that last reason you cited, what can you do to overcome men's fears that, that, that people may cast aspersions on their, on their motives? Well, I, I think one of the teachers? things is to, to explain to men when they're working in classrooms that whilst they will require to be careful, uh, they also have to be good and natural teachers. I mean, there are some circumstances in which men will not wish to do perhaps what, what a woman would do in a classroom in terms of helping children with clothing or, or, or other things of that nature. But equally, good teachers, good men in the classroom teaching well are needed. Uh, interestingly, most of the international research now says to us that actually it isn't crucial to have more men in the classroom. There was a, a feeling some years ago that the, the male role model in the classroom was important. That doesn't seem to be quite as important. But surely there are, there are lots of Scottish children who, who are going to grow up without male role models in their early education. That, that's got to be a problem. Well, not necessarily. I mean, uh, whilst you might believe that would be true, and I might believe that to be true, uh, there's quite a lot of academic research that says that more importantly is the quality of the teaching. There are so many factors in terms of how children are, are influenced as they grow up. Uh, having a, a male role model certainly in the home is very important. Having a male role model in a school is not seen now. Uh, uh, um, but so so in some cases, in some, sorry, Mr. Russell, but in some cases that might be the only male role. Well, male there role are role circumstances model. in which that is important, but I don't think it is quite as important as you're saying, or or perhaps I might have thought. We are taking steps. We are encouraging men to apply for. And how are you doing that? Places. How? <laughs> well, one of the things we're trying to do is to make sure that our recruitment policies are targeted in a way that present the job as a job that isn't necessarily just for women. And there's been some problems in that in the past. Now, we've actually, uh, in Scotland, had to reduce our teacher training places over the, the coming year because uh, there have been some difficulties in slight oversupply this year. And in those, in those circumstances, uh, as the process of recruitment goes forward, I'm keen that we present the job as a really important one that's worth doing whatever sex you are. There are no secondary schools in Scotland uh, that fail to have both male and female teachers. Regrettably, there are some primary schools that only have female teachers. And whilst those are, they are very, very good teachers, it would be nice to see some more male primary teachers because as well. One of the SNP's key pledges is to lower primary school class size. So you're going to have to recruit more teachers you want the balance, perhaps in that recruitment, uh, to be a little bit more equitable, don't well, you? Well, we're going to have to recruit more teachers as the, the demographic time bomb hits us and, and older teachers retire, and that's uh, coming along. Uh, we're making progress towards our smaller class sizes in primaries 1, 2 and 3, though it's been very, very difficult, and it's made more difficult by the recession. But certainly, uh, one of the issues will be to make sure that we get the best teachers possible. That costs money, doesn't it? Have you put Everything money costs there? money, but the public finances are very tight. The UK government has cut uh, the Scottish government's budget, first of all, so we are dealing with difficulties, yes. So that's Mike Russell, the Cabinet Secretary for Education and a Lifelong Learning in Scotland, saying it would be nice to have more male teachers. Let's go to a school in Glasgow, Lawn Street Primary School, in fact, in Glasgow. And Laura Maxwell, our reporter, is there. Are there any male primary school teachers there, Laura? Gabby, not one, and that's out of a teaching staff of about 15. But I tell you, just coming here fair takes you back a bit. I think you forget just how small everything is in primary schools and until you go back to them as an adult the, and the seats are tiny and all the, the, the cloakroom pegs are very close to the ground. But I should just explain in case you, you wonder whether we've got the best behaved pupils in the world here. They've all just gone back uh, to class after the lunchtime break and I'm the only one out in the playground standing in the sleet and the snow. But um, 
this primary school certainly isn't alone in Scotland for having no male teachers, as you were just hearing there from the, the Education Secretary. The General Teaching Council says that there are just over 3,500 men registered out of a total of just over 42,000. So that sits at about 8.4%. But I know that you've been getting lots of texts in about, uh, about male primary school teachers, and it takes me back to whenever I was at primary school, and I had not one but two male teachers, Mr Cox and Mr Phillips. And I know at the time it didn't strike me as being odd in any way, shape or form. But thinking back now, they were the only two classes in the school that got taken away for, for longer weekend or week-long breaks. And I don't know whether maybe that had something to do with the fact that the teachers were male. But here, I spoke to some of the parents and pupils to see if they think that they're maybe missing out because there are no male teachers. My name's Alison and I'm 11 years old. I think they're all the same, but I think it might be better if we had more male teachers for like um, the boys, they might get along better with them. My name is Noma and I'm 11 years old. Would you like to see a man teacher in the school? Um, I've had a man teacher before. It was the same as a woman teacher. You're the first dad I've seen out doing the school run so far this morning. Do you think there's enough men in primary schools these days? Uh, no, I think there should be some more actually, probably to help the development of the kids a bit more. I'm sure the, the female teachers do a really good job. But I think if there was more male teachers, it would be better. What about yourself? you ever considered teaching? Yeah, actually, I have tried to get into teaching, but no primary teaching, secondary school teaching. Just because of the, the PE factor, actually, it was. The sports factor, there's not enough uh, sports uh, for primary schools, and they don't look as if they're going to change it. Sometimes the kids uh, respond better to male teachers than they do with female teachers. My name's Andy, and I'm 11 years old. I would like there to be more men teachers in the school because like, we've not had that many before, so we would like to see what it would be like to have one. I think they might be a little bit stricter and they might be a bit funnier. Those are children from Lawn Street Primary School in Glasgow, um, where in Scotland only 8.4% of primary school teachers are men. In Wales, 15% of primary school teachers are men. Our reporter Mark Hutchings has been to Ogmore Vale Primary School near Bridgend. Tell us about the picture there, Mark. Yes, well, let's, uh, let's bring uh, Neil in here because uh, we, we've stood on the balcony of his, uh, outside his house because uh, no school today. Uh, and, and Neil, you, you, this was a career change for you. You, you started uh, teaching, what, just four years ago? Yeah, good afternoon, Gabby. Uh, good yes, afternoon, that's Neil. true. I, I, hi. I'd uh, worked for 15 years as a chartered accountant before going into teaching, so uh, I'm relatively new to teaching. I, I moved into teaching about four years ago. What kind of reaction did you get when you said you wanted to become a primary school teacher? Um, surprise, I guess, initially, but I, but I think when I explained my, my rationale, you know, my, my motives for moving into teaching, I think people pretty much accepted it. What do you think primary school children get from having a male teacher? Well, I, I take issue with the person who was speaking previously, really. I, I think it is the role model issue, to be honest. I think that, uh, particularly boys, if they can see somebody that they associate with who, who is happy to read, is, is somebody that perhaps has, has, has good manners in the classroom, is, is perhaps kind and, uh, and can demonstrate behaviours that are perhaps not so one-dimensional, then, then that role model factor I, th I think is, in, is extremely important.